What's up everybody, King Capone here coming at you with your daily crypto update. Today we're going to give you guys an update on the zombie network. I talked about this in my video yesterday and uh, I made some, some talks about doing a airdrop. So I'm going to be doing an airdrop in here, a pretty hefty airdrop for those of you who did decide to kind of uh, try it out. There's going to be about $300 trickling down here uh, to both patrons and to people who have just signed up under my team on the zombie network. Now, if you didn't watch that last video, this is about sort of a drip clone on the Clayton network. Um, there's some positives and negatives with that, and we'll talk a little bit about both of those things. But let's just get to this airdrop first. So the first thing I want to do is the amount that I'm going to airdrop is going to be 30 blood tokens. So I'm going to do a direct airdrop to three separate addresses first. Um, so I'm going over to this notepad here. These are the people that are part of my Patreon group that follow the instructions over there on Patreon, my King of FOMO community. Uh, I'm going to be giving 10 blood all together to these people. Now, um, full disclosure, I think one of these people didn't actually even do a deposit in Zombie Network, but um, you know this, they're still going to get a kickback for that. And we'll talk a little bit about that too. So let's go ahead and do this live while we kind of talk more about um, the zombie network. So this first address, uh, I'm going to be doing 3.3 uh, blood tokens per person that is in my patreon group and then for everyone else who just signed up under the team without being a part of the patreon including those who are a part of the patreon i'll be uh, airdropping about 20 blood tokens to all of you um, so while i'm doing this let me go ahead and send this and see if i can talk and do this at the same time uh, some things to note about zombie zombie network and, and to kind of compare it with um, that of, of, of drip network is that this is a lot smaller so that can be a positive and a negative and one of the reasons why that can be a positive is the fact that you are pretty much fresh brand new early to this uh, platform altogether and that's where you can maximize your earnings with all, with pretty much all tokens and nfts and types of coins and platforms if it is if you're early if you're one of the first people to try it out then generally those are the people that get the highest rewards so this is the second patron that I'm going to be sending this 3.3 blood tokens to. Um, so that's a, that's one of the positives. However, the negative and, and you know, the, I, I can't predict the future. I never know what's going to happen long term with these things. Uh, there needs to be traction for this thing to be successful. Uh, now, I don't think that this is a project that's going to last tens of thousands of years or, you know, even more than a year. If we look at Drip and it, its success, uh, it kind of did what it was supposed to do. It went up pretty well for those people who believed in it in the beginning, and slowly it's trickling down over time because at the end of the day, it is going to be a token that, that sort of prints itself after you get through the tokenomics of, you you know the taxing and and, and the, the building up phase but i like the way that it's structured due to the fact that that building up phase is it's very hard to exploit unless you can exploit the contract overall um, so it's kind of guaranteed to sort of go up over time provided you have those people uh, you know, do the work of, of, of the network marketing, which is one of the reasons why you have these teams over here on Zombie Network. And, um, you know, you see it grow overall with compounding and the system kind of feeds itself. So I do think that that is definitely um, something that can happen with Zombie Network. And I'm definitely looking forward to seeing um, how, sorry, that transaction failed. I need to make sure that it sends through, so we'll try that again. I'm definitely looking forward to seeing how this community grows over time. Um, and, you know, we'll see if Zombie Network can be a competitor to Drip. So with that failed transaction, and I will mention this kind of next. I've been looking into this, and another big reason why I wanted to kind of try out Zombie Network on the Clayton, or Zombie Network on the Clayton Network is because I really do like um, you know, Ethereum virtual machines on different chains and trying them out. Uh, you guys know I purchased Velos, Moon River, and a few other things as well. But um, using these newer Ethereum virtual machines or these new layer two solutions, they do come with some issues. And we're seeing one of these issues right now. And I do believe that some people mention this in the Telegram and the Discord group for Zombie Network. And that unfortunate issue is you will get some failed transactions um, if you're trying this thing out. So I've gotten a couple, as you can see already. But if you follow some of the directions, if you ask along in the Discord and the Telegram and, and you kind of 
of keep trying, it does eventually work. That is sort of a setback, and I do believe that this is a problem with the Clayton network sort of worldwide, um, but they are working on that. So in the future, hopefully that will get fixed. But that is one of the unfortunate setbacks that prevents uh, Zombie Network from growing as much as, you know, I, I'm hoping that it, that it will grow. So I'm going to do this last person a little bit later. We're going to, I might have to do these transactions off video. So this last person, I'll get 3.3 to them uh, as soon as I can, but we'll try the team airdrop uh, once again here. Um, so we'll just do team airdrop for my address and we're going to divide it between all of the players and for the amount that we're going to do right here, this is going to be 20 blood for all of the team members right here. Uh, so we're gonna go ahead and, so for this is the next thing that I can mention. Um, I will be requiring a minimum NDV score, hopefully for my next airdrop if, if things go as, as planned. What this means is you can join my team without having a score at all, meaning by depositing nothing within the system, you can get an airdrop this time. Now my next airdrop, I will be probably be requiring at least one BLD for the net deposit value so that you're contributing something to the system and getting something out for sort of growing the zombie network system. So let's go ahead and uh, try that. Minimum deposit value, I don't think I need to have one. So let's see uh, if I do you know, team members more than five and we'll do the team depth, one depth. And we don't we don't need a minimum, or maybe maybe it does require you to have a minimum. So we'll keep it at that, um, and you know I'll, I'll play around with this and see if I can get it to, to zero. But let's go ahead and try that, and uh, we will go ahead and send to these addresses. It looks like nothing is popping up here. So again, this is the one of the unfortunate problems with the Clayton network. I will unfortunately have to do these transactions off of the video, but rest assured you guys can follow my address. I will make sure that this, this airdrop does go out to the people that have uh, joined the system. But like I said, this is a learning experience for the Clayton Network. Um, some of the other things that I've do, been doing sort of behind the scenes, um, as we're talking about you know, layer two solutions for Ethereum, I'm looking at a lot of these other layer two coins and there's a lot that are on the up and com coming uh, that I think have potential for growth and have grown significantly since uh, I started looking at them. One of them being Alpha Zero, another one I think is, is on CoinGecko. Uh, we might talk about pre-search a little bit later in this video too uh, as one of the top gainers, but these are like, like and, and I mentioned this like almost a year ago, probably a little bit less than a year ago. I said a lot of these Ethereum layer two solutions are going to be the, the coins of 2021, if not 2022. And that really kind of is the case. If you purchased any of these layer two solution coins, um, you know, when they first are getting started, uh, they have tremendous growth. And this is another one right here, uh, Astar. This is another EVM smart contract type of uh, coin. So definitely keep these in your radar near protocol. That's another one. Uh, they're, they're, I think, still poised to grow a lot, especially as Ethereum 2 gets pushed out here. So the last couple of things that I want to sum up before I kind of try again for those Zombie Network giveaways or the airdrops is a couple projects that I've been doing, again, on the sidelines passively to really build my crypto uh, over time. And we've talked about this one a lot, the Pocket Network. I'm still making close to about $1,000 per day on this, depending on the price of the Pocket token token, uh, but my nodes are performing extremely well over here on Coder. Now, if you're running with Thunder Pocket or T-Pocket, I believe those are doing fantastic too. So this is one that is, again, should be on your radar. And again, I, I think that this is one where if I look at, you know, six months out, uh, and if this is still doing really well, people are going to look back and say, man, I really should have taken a look at Pocket back then uh, when King of Homo first talked about it. So, uh, you know, I'm going to keep, you know, mentioning it as long as it does well. Pre-Search is another one. So Pre-Search, I've been running this for a while. This has been a popular video of mine. Now, I've made a lot of Pre-Search tokens. I really didn't put that much in here in terms of purchasing the nodes, and I've already made close to about $200. Uh, and this is also when it's not at its all-time high. So this $200 can be a lot more if it does reach those points where it was at before when I first purchased this. Uh, but this is another kind of passive project that works really well. It pays for itself. 
Um, you know, it, it costs, I, I don't remember how much the nodes cost to run a month, but it's a very, very cheap price. And, um, you know, it pays for the cost of running the servers and a little bit more. So pre-search is pretty good too. And then finally, um, not, not really finally, but the last thing that I want to mention in this video before it gets too long is Avalanche. Avalanche is another one that, you know, even though the, the price of the NFTs are not really skyrocketing, not really at chicken levels, which I you know initially hoped for. Uh, it's still giving me passive income with the ant gold that I'm able to sell every couple days for about one, one and a half AVAX tokens, which is close to about $80, uh, maybe $40 every two days. So uh, this is another one that's passively doing really well. Etherworks, another one that's doing extremely well in terms of the passive profits in this space so you know nothing to really merit making videos about every single day but the stuff that i've talked about in the past if you guys are still messing around with it i'm sure that you can see that there are profits to be made in this space even in this bear market all right so that is everything for today guys i'm going to kind of end off there like i said let me try this if i get it to work uh i might put it at the end of this video as i'm through like in post editing uh, but if not we'll wait a little bit longer and i'll tell you guys in patreon or in the description below all right guys i'll catch you in the next video like comment subscribe if you're not a patreon become a patron and if you want to join my team over here in zombie network um, definitely look at my last video on how to do that all right guys peace out